Okay, I have here the my project with the GPL toggle in Atolic. And uh, the macros we can, for example, found here in the MX GPL, GPL underscore init. You can go there with usually with the right click on the function and select open declaration. Or I know that this this uh, definition, this function, it's few lines below the main. It's here. And you can see we have here, for example, the, the macro to enable the clocks. Because before we configure the periphery, we need also to enable enable the, the clocks. If you want found the, the more, uh, more uh, macros, we can go here into the drivers, into the HL drivers. And usually, if you found the driver which you which you desire, in our case the RCC, we can click here to expand the RCC, and it show us to to related include files. In our case, it will be somewhere. Then not not in Atolic. Okay, in Atolic it's a little bit different. It will be here in the includes, sorry. And I need to f uh, search for my for my driver include, which is this one. Here I I need to search for the RCC dot. H. Just this one. In here, I can find the definition on so of some structures. But usually, here starting here the the macros for each each uh, each clock for the pair phase. Okay. But why? Why the enabling the clock is, is so important? We can do very simple test. We put here the breakpoint, okay, with the double click on on the left side of our our uh, editor. Now I I will run my my IDE. I will compile the code again. Now I will start to debug in case that I debug it before. There will be no problem. Okay, I am in the in the beginning of the main. I will run my code which will be stopped after the clock clock enable. Okay. And now I need to look into the registers. Then in the in Atolic, it's here. I think in the system system registers. And here I need the registers for the GPL GPL A port. Okay, you have here see some GPL8. You you see that they have some some values here which are defined, and I can also modify modify the values. If I modify here the value, it will be immediately reflected inside or the outside the microcontroller. Definitely, this output data register can modify the state of the pins in case that the, the pins are correctly configured, which is not 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 yet done. But okay, if I have the clocks, you can see I I have here some some valid values. But here, if I leave the the debugging, and if I comment 
this clock I'm enabling part I compile my code again and I will go to the debugger again okay I run the code run it more oh sorry There my code to my breakpoint. I will go here to the SFR. <laughs> this is strange because the value shouldn't shouldn't be here. I cannot modify the value now. Okay. Then if I for sure I will go there. I again enable the clocks, then I will try it. Compile the code. Flash and debug. And now I will run it. I will try here to modify the register. For example, oh, still I cannot. Strange. And for this, I need to paper my lap. Okay, about this little bit, little bit later. Now in Atolic. First we will go to the debug, then we save the save the code, we compile it, and then we enter the debugger, the debug session. Okay, we also put the breakpoint after the initialization of the clocks, which means here. Then we run run the code here okay we are on the on the breakpoint here we can found the registers we need to search for the GPO GPO A the output data register the ODR and we for example modify the bit, bit zero nothing I think it will need some steps ah my my uh, code is here sorry the code was uh, ordered it's better to do the do the optimization which are very high the code is not consistent then I will put to the big point here which will be better I start my debugging session okay I run my code I'm here here I put one we can we can step it for sure and you can see the one is still there Everything is okay. That that is what we expect. But now I will here command the GPOA clock enable. I disable the session. I will save it. File save. Okay, it's saved. I will compile it and I will debug it again. The same code but without clocks same breakpoint I run my code I go to the registers the output data register and now I will try to to change the output data register and you can see it's not possible 
because the clocks are disabled. OK, how to do this lab in IR? It's very simple. In the IR, we run the debugging. You can see that my, my uh, periphery was commented. The GPL clock enable. I go here into the debug. OK, and I here close it. And if I want to see the registers, I here go to the view. I here select the registers and here I will search for the GPO, GPO A. GPO A. And here you can see in the input data register, if I change it, it's not possible. It's still zero because my clocks are disabled. In case that I again enable, enable the clocks. Clocks was enabled. Rebuild, flash again. And if I run my code, and I stop it for for a while. You can see now I can modify modify the registers how how I want. Be careful with the with the modifying the registers. The the values really change the behavior of the pins, then I recommend here to play only with the output data register with changing the output state in case that the GPOs are un uh, unconfigured it's, it's safe, safe, safest, <laughs> safest option how to play then please not, not change, uh, definitely not the mode or the pull up pull down can be, can be very dangerous Danger, you can also destroy the board. Okay. I will show you also how this looks like in Kale. How to open the registers. You go also into the debug with the Kale. Okay, no problem. And here the registers are hidden here in this in this uh, system window viewer or here the payfiles system viewer and you select the payfile which you want it's in our case is the gpo and the gpo h again the same behavior the the output data register you can you can directly change here Okay, and I tried last in the system workbench. Okay, I opening the system workbench. It will take a few couple of seconds. Okay, again I am in in main. I can here go to the to the debugger click on the debug if I debug before no problems yes I want to the into the debugger perspective okay the registers here mean only the core registers which is the not not the the correct one but here the IO registers is the correct correct tab and here I search for the GPO, GPO A. Here the GPO A. You can search for the output data register and ask for the refresh with the double click to activate. Ask for the refresh. I think, okay, we need to need to create the more steps I put here the breakpoint, I run my code now you will see the value I think you can also try to change the value if I make, make one step you see the, the value stay there 
specify here in the main command the the clocks if I uh, first leave the debug I compile my code I need to first save my code it will be better yes now it's it's compiled I go to the debug again yes I want to the debugger perspective I run my my code okay I am here I go to the IOS you can see there is some default value I will change here the output data register I will make step and see there was no change reflected in the registers because I cannot write into registers when the clocks are disabled then be careful in case that you're trying to configure the payphay and it doesn't working it's maybe possible that you not enable the clocks then don't forget before you start to configure the payphay you need first enable the clocks.